Hi students, what is the meaning of reserves and surplus and what are the types of reserves available? According to the Companies Act 2013 amended, the schedule mentioned the Companies Act. All the companies must prepare its financial statements according to the Companies Act 2013 amended. So when you are preparing the financial statement for a company, each items in the profit and loss account and the balance sheet clearly mention according to the company site heading wise. How to prepare the financial statements and what are the points or what are the contents available in the financial statement we already discussed. So today's our discussion is going to Reserves and surplus. Reserves and surplus is one of the most important item in the financial statement of a company. That means in the balance sheet. When you are preparing the balance sheet of a company, you can see reserves and surplus. It is a part of profit which is set aside by a company for meeting future uncertainties. So all the companies are keeping the reserves and surplus. So the reserves and surplus will be keeping in order to meet the future contingencies of the company. So here the amount set aside out of the profits. You are taking the amount from the profit of the company and other surpluses which are not earmarked in any way to any particular liability which cannot be marked for meeting any particular liability that is earmarked in any way to meet any particular liability known to exist on the date of the balance sheet you can see this item in the balance sheet on the date of the balance sheet but this does not mention to meet any particular liability in symbol we can say it is the amount set aside from the profit and the surpluses in order to meet the uncertainties or the prospective losses in order to strengthen the financial position of the company. Our main aim is to strengthen the financial position of a company. So in order to strengthen the financial position of the company, we have to maintain proper or adequate reserves and surplus for the company. A single amount on the face of the balance sheet, whenever you are preparing the balance sheet of the company, you can see a single amount is there on the face of the balance sheet, again as under the heading reserves and surplus and the shareholders of under. So when you are preparing the balance sheet of a company, you can see only one amount under the heading shareholders fund, the reserves and surplus. This reserves and surplus, we have to adjust the opening balance will be there additions will be there then if any minus you utilize the something you can minus that one the net amount really can show that one so what are the important reserves available according to the companies act 2013 and this one we have it shown in the balance sheet of the company so our next discussion is going to what are the types of reserve and what is their meanings Schedule 3 of the Companies Act 2013 prescribes that reserves and surplus include Capital Reserve, Capital Redemption Reserve, Security Premium Reserve, Debenture Redemption Reserve, Revaluation Reserves, Share Option Outstanding Account, Other Reserve if any, Surplus that is the balance in the profit and loss account. These are the main reserves under the heading reserves and surplus in the balance sheet of the company. So these are the major reserves whenever you are preparing the balance sheet. Any these type of reserves are there you have to shown under the heading reserves and surplus. Here we can discuss one by one what is the meaning of each reserve how a company is created and what is the purpose of creating each reserve. We can discuss what is capital reserve. Capital reserve is created 
out of the profit of capital transactions capital profit it is created out of the capital profit that is known as capital reserve normally this type of reserve are created by the companies from capital nature transactions there is a clear difference between capital nature transactions and revenue nature transactions capital nature transactions we can say other than revenue nature revenue nature means usual business nature transactions selling and purchasing of goods and services that type of transaction is known as revenue nature transactions other than revenue nature a company is earning some profit that we can call as capital profit that it can be transferred to a reserve known as capital reserve what are the main examples of this capital reserve gain on sale of fixed asset this is a capital nature transaction you cannot frequently sell your fixed asset so occasionally gain on sale of fixed assets gain on sale of investments gain on reissue of forfeited or cancelled shares sometimes the shareholders are unable to pay the share money the balance of the share money due to the company at that time there is a legal provision is there company can cancel the name of that shareholder and the company can reissue some other people gain on purchase of existing business you are purchasing an existing business you are getting something that is also coming under this heading these are the main items coming under the capital reserve so the reserve created out of the capital transactions or capital nature transactions second one is capital redemption reserve we are we can call as crr capital redemption reserve is created by a company for purchasing its own shares sometimes a company can purchase its own shares if there is free reserves out of free reserves are available so that reserve when you are purchasing its own shares from the open market you should have transfer an equal amount or the face value of that shares amount transferred to a reserve known as capital redemption reserve this reserve can be utilized by the company for issuing fully paid bonus shares also suppose a company is redeeming it's a preference shares such a situation also a company should keep the nominal value or the face value of that total amount into this reserve so this is created when a company is purchase its own shares out of the free reserve or security premium reserve according to the company act a sum equal to the face value or the nominal value of the shares should be kept as this reserve and this reserve can be utilized for issuing fully paid bonus shares also next one is security premium reserve is there premium or security premium reserve this reserve is created when excess amount received over the face value of the shares any amount received by the company over and above the face value of share is known as premium that amount can be transferred to a separate account known as security premium reserve account. according to the company sector like this reserve can be utilized by the company for n number of ways for issue of fully paid bonus shares for the redemption of the preference shares for writing of the preliminary expenses of the company commission exchange brokerage or even buy back of shares also we can use this reserve so this is a kind of reserve created by the company when a company receive over and above the face value of the shares in excess of face value that reserve is known as security premium reserve debenture redemption reserve drr it is a reserve created by the amount prescribed by the company act 
before the redemption of the debentures. We know that in order to redeem the debentures of the company, we need some amount. So we, before redemption of debentures, we are created a reserve. That reserve is known as debenture redemption reserve. This, this reserve can be created by all the companies except banking companies and all other financial companies. It's properly managed by the Reserve Bank of India. So this is this reserve is created only for non-convertible portion of debentures. Non-convertible portion. If we can convert it into preference shares or debentures or other debentures, we cannot use that one. So this reserve is created only for non-convertible portion of the debentures. So DRR is a mandatory for all the companies before the redemption of shares. It is some amount set aside for the total outstanding amount to be redeemed. Then revaluation reserve, another reserve is there. This reserve is created for the outward revision of book value of an asset. Sometimes the book value of an asset will be increased or decreased will come. So in order to adjust that one plus or minus, you have to create a separate reserve that is known as revaluation reserve. Upward revision of book value of an asset. If it cannot be used, that means the revaluation reserve cannot be used for the payment of dividend of the company in order to adjust the upward value or increased value of uh, the some kind of assets book value sometimes some amount the value will be more than the book value at that time we can create this reserve so, so share option outstanding account also one of the kind of reserve this is the difference between the market value and the issue price sometimes the issue price is uh, 50 and the market value will be 100 so there is an excess amount is there that we can keep a separate account known as share option outstanding account so these are the important reserves coming under the heading equity that is reserves and surplus there are many reserves are there thank you